So at this point now we need to start looking at adding some images in. The first thing you need to ensure is that you are on high quality display. Um, if you control D or Apple D, open, and it gives you this. So we're going to use our bleed guide because when we print this out and cut it or trim it, we don't want any white. So I know that if my image goes past my margins, past the edge of my page into the bleed, the area that's gone from here to here is going to be trimmed off. But that is not important information and it will give me a nice edge to edge image. So there is the picture. Now if you can see, oops, didn't mean to do that. I can't put it back now. I'll just drag it around. It's got a blue frame. The blue frame is our container. If you double click, changes to brown. The brown is our image. So if you click there, that's the image changing size. But if you let go, you can see that the container hasn't changed size. I'm just going to undo that. And then what you can also do, if you change the size of the container, rather than trying to squish your picture around and faff, make sure both are selected. And then you've got not those ones. Um, let me check my icons at the top. So if you go to object, fitting, and you've got all these. You've got fill frame proportionately, fill content proportionately, fit to frame, fit to, fit to content, whichever of those suits you best. Click on one of those and let's just, we just go through those now. Fill frame, so that's a frame, frame, frame filled. It's really difficult to say. I want them selected, so that you can play about with these. Oops, sorry. Fit content to frame, but that will skew it. Whereas these. We'll keep it in proportion. Okay, so you've got that. So let's just get that back. So I've clicked, so I've got my blue line, so I know that's the frame. I'm going to take it past the bleed. I don't want to lose, oopsie. I don't want to lose too much of my picture, so I'm just going to take it to the bleed. Double click that. And it's back there. And it's the same, so if you want to change your, if you don't want to do it manually, Holding down shift will keep it in the correct proportion. You need to make sure your images are ready. You can't edit them in this program. InDesign is a layout program, not the image manipulation program. So make sure that they're ready to go. And you can change the transparency and the gradient on these. Press there we go, and you can play around so you can then add 
text, etc. Yeah. 